Belonging to a group, belonging with others, is a fundamental part of our human experience. Um, we gain a lot from being with other people. Um, we feel their energy, we feel their warmth, or at least we can feel that energy and we can feel that warmth. Um, we can participate together, we can collaborate, we can build things together, we can enjoy free time. But often a lot of us can struggle with this belonging. Um, personally, um, as I grew up, belonging in a way became harder and harder. Um, I struggled with belonging in my neighborhood with the kids in the area. I didn't quite know where I fitted in. Um, I struggled also with belonging at school. Um, I found that I was often quite aloof from um, the other kids. I could see them having fun together, but personally, I s held myself back. Um, I didn't always partake and belong with them. And when I did have a group to belong to at school, um, I questioned myself within it. I wasn't sure that it was quite right for me. Um, or I just didn't feel fully comfortable um, in the day to day with it. So in this video, I want to share some learnings that have supported me as I've grown up, um, as I've moved away from this, um, I guess, in effect, detachment that I had with a lot of people as I grew up. Um, so I'll share some ideas and I'll let you know about how I've sought to ground myself more fully in my place of belonging in the world. So I have three learnings that I would like to share with you. Um, and I just encourage you to consider them for yourself in relation to how you belong or struggle to belong um, as um, I share them with you. The first learning um, that is that I've gained is that not belonging can be a form of protection. Often for me to sit apart from a group um, as I grew up was a way for me not to feel rejected um, or awkward. Um, if I would go into the group or be a part of it, um, I may, I had, well, I had the fear that certain emotions would come up, uncertainties. And this would inhibit our, how I would communicate within that group, what I would say um, and, and how I would act in effect. So I would protect myself by sitting apart. Um, in effect, at times I would hide myself. Um, I remember how if I arrived early at school, instead of just going and seeing who might be about and interacting with them, um, I felt a fear of um, turning up early and people not really wanting me to be there. So I, I would simply hide and wait until the time that I would have normally arrived. Um, so I was protecting myself. And this is a common thing, I believe, that we protect ourselves by holding back from being part of a group. Um, and it's important for us to reflect on what we're protecting ourselves from um, so that we can learn to release it um, and step into the belonging that we can experience in our lives. The second learning that I have had about my not belonging is the involvement of judgment of others and judgment of myself within my not belonging. Um, I would use judgment um, as a way to accept not belonging. I would be experiencing the pain um, and the frustration of not belonging to a group um, and a way of accepting that or understanding it would be to judge the people that um, I find it hard to belong with. I would even start to think things like, 
I don't really like them anyway, or I'm better off on my own. Um, and, and so understanding the role of judgment, I believe, is important. It's not to condemn us. It's not to bring shame upon ourselves, but it's actually to recognize that this judgment that you place upon the groups that you struggle to belong with is your coping mechanism for your separation. Um, and, and often the judgments you make of them are also judgments that you've made of yourself. Um, so judging that certain people um, are boring or they you know, don't care about people, um, when you actually get to the bottom of them, um, can start with a projection from yourself of judging yourself as boring um, or, or not caring about people as well. So taking the layers out of this and allowing yourself to forgive the judgments of self and others can be very supportive in the process of belonging again. So I did a, um, a video on forgiveness previously um, and a number of perspectives on forgiveness. Um, so feel free to watch that if it's something that you feel would be beneficial to you. So the third learning that I have had about my not belonging that has supported me in bringing more belonging into my life is the following. To choose to belong is to choose to accept myself. So there is an active choice to be made in stepping out and belonging again. And, and that active choice involves accepting ourselves. Okay. Every day that I step out more so in relationship, I am choosing more so to accept myself. And every day that I consciously within find more to accept within myself or release more of the lack of acceptance or judgment of myself, that supports me as I find belonging in the world. Okay, so, so those are the three learnings that I have had. Um, if you struggle also with um, belonging, I just encourage you to reflect on each one for yourself. The three learnings, I'll just repeat them, are not belonging can be a form of protection. How are you protecting yourself as you stand apart from other people? The second learning is the following. Judgment of others and judgment of myself can help me accept not belonging. We can justify our not belonging through self-judgment and criticism of the people who we feel we don't belong with. There is no condemnation um, in this, but I'm asking you just to bring awareness to this in your life. And the third learning is to choose to belong is to choose to accept yourself. So work on that. Release your judgment of self. Bring acceptance to who you are and allow yourself to be acceptable amongst other people. So I really do want to encourage anyone who does struggle with this. Um, take some time. Um, bring this awareness to your in your consciousness to what goes on for you. Um, and really seek to release what's going on in your consciousness. Don't force yourself to belong or to step into situations that often does not work, but allow compassion and love to come within um, and allow intuition um, and encouragement to support you um, as you accept yourself, which will support you again in finding belonging in the world. Okay. So, um, I hope this has been supportive for you. Um, thanks a lot for watching today and I'll speak with you soon.